Hi friends, uh, I'm Andy, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically disassemble the Asus uh, VivoBook F560. This is the mid-level gaming laptop which uh, Asus has launched recently in March 2019 here in India. So if your laptop is something that looks like this on the top and once you open is something like this and on the base is something like this, then this video applies for you. And uh, before making a buying decision on this laptop, you need to have a look at this particular video. So after watching this video, you'll be able to replace almost uh, everything that is there. You can replace a uh, RAM, put an M.2 SSD, hard drive, memory, everything can be changed basically after watching this video. So here we go. So to start things up, you need to have a screwdriver set. You need to have a triangular pryer and try to have a metallic pryer also if possible and a compartment box to keep different screws uh, of this particular laptop into different compartments. Now this particular model, uh, you need to be a little careful while opening because the opening is a little different than the conventional laptops that are coming nowadays. You need to keep it like this. And you need to open all the screws, starting from the hinges. Now after removing all the screws, uh, you need to keep the laptop like this and start prying from these ends over here as you can see. And uh, start prying very very slowly. The base will not come off. For this particular model, the touchpad will come off. So it's a little different and uh, the touchpad when it comes off you have to be very careful as there are uh, strips connecting to the motherboard the touchpad scripts which you have to remove so we need to very carefully now remove the strips that are connecting so you can see there are strips connecting over here and you have to be very careful if you just remove it the strips might get uh, damaged broken and uh, you might have to get the new ones you need to remove uh, the keyboard strip as well as the touchpad strip for which uh, we need to again Put it like this, need to remove it like this, from the other side you need to push it and it will come off. This is the way the laptop looks from the inside for the Asus F560 and you have this huge fan here, the hard drive area and the Wi-Fi chip. The speaker, you still can't see where exactly the M.2 SSD slot is, for which we need to go deep within inside. So the upgradability of this laptop is up to 32 GB, 16 plus 16, and uh, and you need to buy a 8 GB or a 16 GB 2400 megahertz low voltage memory for this particular laptop. This is where the hard drive is. So we will remove the hard drive first. You need to remove these screws. One, two. And you need to remove this strip connected from the other side, as you can see. Just remove it. Another screw is over here. And so you just need to remove the hard drive like this. Just push it outside and the hard drive frame will be off. You just need to remove one, two, three and four screws. And uh, you can replace it with another SSD, SATA SSD 2.5 form factor or a normal hard drive, your hard drive has gone bad. So let us keep it on this side now. So this is where the battery is, one, two, three cell battery. And uh, this is the VGA connector. So for going deep within inside the motherboard, we need to again uh, remove uh, the hinges out of it. And uh, the fan, we need to also remove the Wi-Fi chip over here. The Wi-Fi chip is over here. It's the Wi-Fi chip. These are the speakers good set of speakers that uh, Asus has given and uh, you need to remove uh, one, two, three screws now visible before which we need to remove the fan that is there. For removing the fan you need to remove uh, this one screw over here and uh, another screw over here. The fan will get away. The fan connector is over here just need to remove the connector very carefully. Now we need to remove the hinge screws over here for us to go further down on the motherboard.
This is the VGA cable. Need to remove this part so that the motherboard can come off. Then there is a screw over here. You need to remove it like this, and uh, the speaker. So once you remove it, the motherboard is fairly straightforward in your hand, and uh, this is where the M.2 SSD slot is there. You can take a M.2 SSD NVMe or a normal one and you can fix it over here. You need to take another screw uh, for it to be fitted and uh, this here is another slot. So it's not soldered basically. There's one slot on the base and another slot over here. So the upgradability of this laptop is up to 32 GB 16 plus 16 and uh, Asus has uh, put a 2400 MHz uh, 8 GB DDR4 low voltage memory and you need to buy a 8 GB or a 16 GB 2400 MHz low voltage memory for this particular laptop. So we need to fit it back now very carefully. First thing first put back the in screws. So this, this is the keyboard uh, connector and this is the touchpad connector which is again the power button also. So very critical that you put them appropriately and then very gently. Now we have fitted the touchpad onto the base and before putting the screws ahead you just need to check the display of the laptop. Just press the power button and uh, wait for magic to begin and yes the display has come so this is very important that you check this uh, if there is no display over here it means that there is a faulty ram or you've not fitted it correctly you have to again go through the entire process once again so we will again shut it down now and put all the screws back into their position hope you like the video guys uh, Thank you so much for watching. Do let us know your suggestions and comments, and do not forget to subscribe to us. So you can click on the bell icon and uh, get continuous updates on our videos. Thank you so much.